briefly talk about Takashi 69 in Chicago and these four missing girls and why in the hell are we looking for Takashi? Well, we understand they feel disrespected and that's understandable. But I just wish we as a community had the same energy to protect our communities, to protect our women and children and even other men. Because there's some men that can't protect themselves or men that are outnumbered. So I want us, we have to evolve past, well, the women and children, yes, they maybe can't protect themselves as much, but boys, teenager boys, different things like that. So my thing is, and how I talked about how black culture is a mental illness, if there's girls being missing, everything anybody if anybody is missing in a village and any everything should stop everything should stop if someone is missing if someone is hurt you can't find anyone if someone hasn't been seen for a few days different things like that everything should stop and i just don't understand how you know we sit and wait for a rapper who is gonna do what he's gonna do. And it's like, it's like we take the wrong things personal. That's how you know it's a mental illness because what's personal should be white supremacy. What's personal should be people who uh, look like you even that are you know, organ trafficking, different things like that. These, you know, these can be sex trafficking. That's how a lot of these people come up missing. And that should be, that should be personal. And we understand, you know, I understand that when you um, are in a system of white supremacy that you have to hold on to what you feel like you have. And when you're being um, displaced, when you're being when you're being systematically attacked, and you don't have much, you feel like the only few things that you have is your neighborhood or your gang or whatever. So I understand that. I'm I'm not really attacking that. I just. And I know this is just a small voice. I'm not really anybody. Some people might say. And, but it's just, why can't we turn that energy, use this organ, organization, this brotherhood, and protect the communities better? Because the blueprint is really already there. We just have to turn the energy around. If you have strength in numbers, if you have some sort of respect where people might fear you or they might listen to you or they're not really going to tell you what to do like that if you have that kind of respect instead of using it for violence you can also use it for the good it's the same it's like a gun can be used to kill or protect so i just would like to see more of us taking the right things personal and not the wrong things personal and this is just my opinion, because right or wrong, it can't come down to opinion. <clears throat> I understand that, but it's just, come on, man. We, it's, it's just so much stuff going on, and we have, it's just what we give our energy and attention to. That's really, that tells you, cause like they say, don't sweat the small stuff, it's just small stuff. Like a mentally disturbed person, mentally ill people, sometimes, and it's just, it can be a person having a bad day, but people, when you start, even anybody really, if you start over, you see yourself overreacting to the small, littlest things, and then you pull back and you say, well, maybe I'm having a bad day, maybe I'm at a, I don't feel good, maybe I'm at, I'm sick, maybe I'm at a bad point in my life and I'm not happy, maybe I'm depressed, for whatever reason it may be, but when you 
look in hindsight, you'll see like that really wasn't that serious. So I didn't really have to overreact like that. Or, you know what I mean? Like, if we're gonna have pride in different things, let's have pride about the right things. Let's have pride about keeping our communities safe. And I'm not saying they don't try to protect their communities. And I'm really, this is really a general statement for every black community because I'm not just trying to isolate Chicago. It's just, that's the most recent example. You know, I've said here in Cleveland that, you know, when we look, look for missing women and missing girls, we had the Anthony Sowell situation where 11 women were murdered. You know what I mean? I've covered that for a little bit. So it's like, I'm not excluding, I'm not showing bias or anything here. It's just, even with that, situation people were coming out people were uh, patrolling the bus stops and different things then it kind of stopped we have to really get back to that we have to and that's really what the uh, black panthers did in oakland we talk about oakland a while ago so it's just um it's america's really weird man it's almost like we have too much time on our hands but how we use that time, we think we don't have enough time on our hands. Like we're impatient, but we think we have all the time in the world. It's weird. And then that just, it's just weird. If you could really look and see how we react to certain things, man, it's just really, it's kind of mind boggling.